Good morning. Good morning. I have a quick question for you this morning, and then I have things that I have to get on to. And the reason why I have those things is because something happened to me I had not planned for. Uh, I planned to spend the weekend making videos, which is what I do. That's what I do. And so I planned to spend the weekend making videos, and in the process of that, guess what happens? My microphone stops working. I, I cut two pretty good, pretty long videos, went back to edit them, and I'm hearing a sound in my microphone. It's like, oh, that's not good. All right, so I gotta go get a microphone today. So I have to go back and redo those videos because I have a bad sound in the video and I wanna fix that. So I'll be in the process of doing that in just a little bit, just waiting for things to open up. But good morning, Tom, whatever it is that you just said. Uh, thank you for making, um, uh, reminding me that English is not everybody's, uh, not everybody's language. Mine's just plain old redneck hillbilly. Um, so, good morning everybody. I appreciate you coming on uh, as I'm just rambling here. I wanna ask you a question today that I think is a relevant business question. Are you looking for opportunities or are you making yourself available to them? There's a big difference between looking for an opportunity and making yourself available to them. And, and, and let me explain to you the difference between the two. If I'm looking for something, then I already have myself in, in my head exactly what it is that I want. And, um, and, and I, I, I go after that thing. And that's the only thing I look for. What you might discover is that if you're making yourself available for opportunity. That means that when you don't have something to do, you're getting better at what you do. And if you do that, if you will practice that, then what happens is an opportunity that you probably weren't looking for comes along and you become the ideal fit for it. That's the point that I'm trying to make this morning is that sometimes we think that we are ideally suited for this thing and so we pursue that whatever the that is. And and in the process of pursuing that, say for example that I might be a, a trained engineer in a particular category, but but uh, so I only pursue that category, not realizing that there may be other opportunities, there may be other things available. And so today I just want you to contemplate this as you get ready to go, as I have to make up for my my um, my video blunder uh, in that my microphone stopped working, but that isn't going to change what I do. And actually, I would have never dreamed of being the person who would be putting these pieces together. But because of the fact that I kept working at this, I got that opportunity. And so my question to you today is, are you pursuing opportunity? Or are you making yourself available to them? It's a big difference between the two. One is I know exactly what I want and I'm going to pursue only that thing and I'm only going to uh, apply for those jobs or I'm only going to look at that thing. And, and, and the other one says, I'm just going to be the best me I can be and I'm going to keep myself open to the opportunity that that being the best me might present because oftentimes that being the best me that I can be will present me with some opportunities I hadn't really ever considered before. And that really helps me to be open to other things. And so uh, I, I want you to think about that. I, our world is rapidly changing. And as that rapid transition takes place, there's going to be, uh, when I taught school, I was a career counselor in high school. When I taught school, I would tell my students in, in school, in high school all the time, that the vast majority of jobs that you will fill in the next 15 years don't even exist today. They don't even exist. So when you leave high school and you go to college and you get prepared for this thing, uh, there may be a whole world of opportunity that presents itself that you don't even know about right now because those jobs don't even exist. Well, that was 25 years ago. And I said the next 15 years. Today, I could say the next 15 months because things have changed that rapidly. So in this rapidly changing world that we live in, recognize that uh, while I may have this thing that I really, 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 really want to do, I may discover that if I work at being the best me I can possibly be, it'll open up a world of opportunity I may not even know about. And so give that careful consideration as you plan out your week, as you plan out your month, as you plan out your life, that becoming the best me that I can be will open up a door of opportunity 
that I may not know anything about. But if I'm just looking for opportunity, then I'm only knocking on the doors that I know. Does that make good sense to everybody? Does that does that kind of are you are you plugged into what I'm saying here? Um, make sure that you focus your attention on developing yourself and your skills, because that will help you to understand what doors might be open in the future. If you're only looking for the doors that you know about, you may be missing some real opportunity. All right, just some thoughts to get you started on your week here. Uh, don't just look for opportunity but make yourself available. Make yourself the best fit for whatever position, opportunity, job, freelance, whatever it is that you're after. And you may discover that the best things were the things that you didn't know about at all. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to talking to you the rest of the, I'm going to try to talk the rest of the week. I don't know, kind of a busy week and I got a little bit of catch up to do. So I love you. Thank you for joining me today.